Hey guys, welcome back. We're at Computex 2024, and today I have Kev from Hi. Halo. Hi, nice to meet you, Kev. Nice to meet you, Jordi. Yeah. So today we're gonna talk more about Halo and Performance Accelerator. So first of all, like, can you tell me more about what Halo is? Yes, of course. Uh, so Halo is a leading AI uh, chips company uh, that we are uh, providing, and our mission mm -hmm. is to take the AI uh, to the edge. Okay. So yeah, I think Halo is one of the partners that work with CNT, especially for Edge AI applications. And one Halo module that we have here is actually a Halo 8. So we have a demo for Edge AI inferencing. So can yeah. you tell me more about what is Halo 8? Of course. So first of all, we are showing a uh, like the demo uh, right here, uh, a live demo. And secondly, uh, about our module, so I would like to give a, a few features. Mm -hmm. So first of all, our Halo 8 module supports 26 tops AI performance and with the very low power consumption. So okay. typically, it's only 2.5 watts. Right. And thirdly, we support a different kinds of form factors, including the FSA2 and the MIDI PCIe. And it's easy to uh, integrate with your x86 CPUs or the ARM based CPUs. Right. So like the low power requirement is really good for like mobile or edge computing application because one of the things is like they don't have, uh, they cannot just take a lot of powers right? yeah. and then it's power efficient and also yeah. from the thermal dissipation is something that's really good. Of course, okay. especially when we're talking about HAI, a lot of the boxes and applications are actually running like at the age and it's outdoor application. Yeah. So the power consumption really matters. Okay. Yeah. I also heard that you have a new products from Halo. Right. Yeah. Can you tell me more about it? What, what is this new product that you're talking about? Of course. So yeah. uh, this time at Computex, I think most of the people are aware of the AI PCs which uh, most of the applications are focused on a large, a large language models. So Hello, we have our next generation uh, product, Hello 10 Edge. It also uh, works as an M.2 module. However, the difference is about the performance. Now it supports 40 tops AI performance with under 3.5 watts power consumption to help you run your LLM models at the edge. Okay, so now the Halo 8 is really optimized for inferencing, machine vision. Yeah. And you're talking about that Halo 10 H is a bit different. So right. It's running with LLM, so generative AI. Exactly. Like something like ChatGPT. Yes. Okay, so can you tell me more about like what kind of models, what kind of AI models that can run with the Halo 10 yeah. H? So for now, uh, what's in the roadmap is uh, Llama 2, 7B, and uh, Quiwen. Okay. And of course, it's also uh, a stable diffusion. Those are the models that we believe are going to boom up. Uh, I mean, to ramp up these years. So that's the that's that's the, the roadmap. Right. So you're saying that right now we can run this generative AI large language model right at the edge. I exactly. Don't need to connect to the cloud or internet at all. Exactly. So the beauty of uh, adopting this module is that you can run those models offline without uh, connecting with your internet. So you can make sure that uh, your uh, uh, your data are safe. So one thing that I want to know is what are the use cases that we can use with all of these Halo modules? Can you tell me, we can start with Halo 8? Of course, so let's start with Halo 8. Uh, so for Halo 8, uh, we have a major market in surveillance. But also we have uh, another market in automotive, uh, which we do the level 2 plus above applications. And of course, we're also doing the aftermarket, which most of the customer, they're doing the safety or some surround view applications. Uh, so the third uh, market that we're targeting into is automation, where for example, like AI, uh, AOI or AMR, which requires a lot of computing on um, vision-based AI. And the last uh, vertical I would like to mention is about medical. So we actually do uh, ultrasounds, endoscope, uh, those kind of applications to help uh, the endoscope and uh, ultrasounds equi medical equipment vendors uh, to uh, bring their AI application to their portable devices. So you're saying like this Halo 8 is really optimized for machine vision, detection system, and exactly. you can run all at the edge? Of course. Okay. Yeah, very cool. How about the Halo 10 Edge? Because it's something new for me as well. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that's also why a lot of attractions come to Taiwan and visit Computex because we all know that uh, this year in Computex, everyone is talking about AI PC and large language models. So for our Hello 10 Edge is mainly to support the large language models. So for now, what's in the roadmap is, uh, first of all, Llama 2, and uh, of course, the stable diffusions models. We have more, like for example, Whisper and the pipeline, but now we will mainly support the two models. Okay, so you are supporting all this LLM and running all from this module? Exactly. So can I take a quick look of, of the Hello 10 Edge? Serve yourself. Wow. 
very compact. So this is the Halo 10H. And one thing that we do at CNT is we validate these accelerators and we're working with partners like Halo to make sure that these solutions are embedded in our industrial computers and make sure that they can run 24-7 reliably on the fanless computers that we have. So we built a thermal dissipation solutions to make sure that the heat is controlled even on the most extreme temperatures possible. So uh, one thing that 10H also provides is yep. you mentioned about the combination between Intel Atom CPU and Halo. Can exactly. you tell me more about it? Like, wh What is the position of this product in the market? Uh, so it's, 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 it's quite easy. So I think uh, you wanted to enable all of your computers to run uh, different kinds of AI applications. Yeah. So with the M.2 module, it's easy to integrate with any kinds of the uh, devices, uh, uh, even if it's uh, x86 or it's ARM CPU, okay. uh, we, we all support it. Oh. So yeah, thank you very much for your time. No problem. And I'll see you next time. Pleasure. See you.